Hi, my name is Sarah Stork, and I'm here to talk about a product out here from Yes Welder. We have a 250 MIG welder machine that also runs aluminum and it's got three functions. The first function we have is your MIG gun, MIG welder, and you can weld aluminum, you can weld and mild steel. It's a very good tool for those that are just starting out in your garage and want to get started making art or even tacking things together, doing home repairs or farm repairs as like I do. Now this machine is also able to run on your 220, 240 uh, and also on your 110, 120. You know, it depends on who you talk to, how they want to say this 120 or 110. It has the ability to hold a 10 pound wheel inside here, which is not bad because at first I thought it only would hold that little guy, but no, actually you can put a 10 pounder in there, which works out great. So you don't have to change your wheel very often. You have multiple settings on here for different thickness of metals. Uh, this in particular is probably best for a thin metal under a quarter inch, which is what most people at home or hobby weldist do. And it also has the ability to be a stick welder and a TIG welder on lift arc. Now the lift arc, you don't necessarily need to have a pedal to start your TIG. You just touch the plate and you bring it up and it starts the arc and then you can run your bead. Yes Welder is coming out with these machines that make it more affordable for welders to get started in their garages or students. There's lots of students out there that are on a budget and they don't have the money to buy ex expensive equipment to get started. So this is like an option, which is great. And it works, works really well, works really well. <laughs> I got this plugged in. Turn it on. Pretty simple, very clean display. Mode, stick, lift TIG, and flux. Diameter 030 and 035. I have a little bit of 030 flux core in there now, set up and ready to rock and roll. Uh, one thing, when you're flux core welding, you want DCEN. So your ground cable actually goes in on the positive lug, if you don't believe me. Uh, you can learn something just by reading, but that's enough of that. We don't need that anymore. Otherwise, uh, this is basically a synergic MIG welder uh, for flux core because the only parameter that you have is you can fine tune three volts up and down, plus or minus. So we're gonna dial this into zero. This is basically controlled by wire speed um, here. So we're gonna test that out. It seems kind of like an oddball setup but we're gonna give it a shot. You got the wire feed button up here for the new spool. Push it, spools it through a little bit faster. The torch lead is about six feet long. So it kind of keeps you close to the welder. I got my Yes Welder auto darkening welding helmet. And we're gonna start this off around 200. Like I said, normally I have amperage or voltage settings and then I can at least see where that started, but I don't know. Let's uh, go for it and see what happens. Way fast. Let's uh, kick that down to 128. Try that again. That's better. Yeah, that's what we want. But that did the trick. So eighth inch, I'm at like 216, three volts up. I'm gonna even crank this up even higher. We're gonna come up to 250. 
and I'll start a little farther over. Two sixteen. Try again. This is where, if you're a new welder, this is just where it takes practice. Practice, practice. These videos are not intended to teach how to weld, mainly to show off the machine and to showcase what it can do. Yeah, I like that. That was good. Alright, so after my first like three initial welds with this thing i know i said i didn't need these but it's kind of a joke uh, when you got new equipment and you're learning certain things one of my old bosses told me if you don't know what you're doing spend some time and read you will learn a lot by reading uh, this machine when flux core welding it is only rated at a max of like 330 seconds 2.5 millimeters uh, and according to this with 030 flux core wire, or as some people like to say, or have corrected me, 030. Says the wire feed speed is actually supposed to be up in the 400. So we're gonna just follow the rules here. And eighth inch material is a little heavy, but just out of curiosity, let's see what that does. hot we're gonna come down to 400 and yeah we're gonna leave it there let's try again I'm still getting used to welding with flux core the reason I'm welding with flux core is after doing a lot of these reviews, I get a lot of people asking to show the capabilities using flux core. I generally weld with shielding gas. So, even I'm learning as I do these. I'm pretty impressed. Well, I hope this review was enough for you to make a decision. You can buy these for around 150 bucks. And well, these boots cost me more than 150 bucks. So to be able to get a multi-process three-in-one welder, uh, I would primarily be looking at it as a flux welder and or a stick welder. I was pretty impressed with the performance on the stick welding uh, yesterday. And well, the flux core welding really hasn't disappointed either. So that's it for me, Flux Core 135 Pro by Yes Welder. And this is Challenge to Build, out for another one.